Hey everyone, welcome to the Bruce Williams channel. In this video, I would like to show you the green Seamaster Professional Ceramic on the OEM bracelet. This is a very unique shade of green in most lighting. I would say maybe 80% of the time, this looks like a black dial, black bezel diver, and it's not until you angle it just right or the sun hits it, that's when you see the olive green and that's when it becomes noticeable. So in my opinion, this is a more stealthy watch, but in those uh, you know 20% moments, it becomes a very playful watch. So I like this color. I like the nickname. The nickname is a little ridiculous, the Seaweed Master, but you know what? We as watch collectors, we can get so logical. We can take ourselves so seriously. It's fun, and I think it's necessary to inject a little bit of levity into our hobby. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about the Seaweed Master, talk about the strengths, talk about the weaknesses, just share my opinion. And before I do that, let me first shout out Exquisite Timepieces. They are a family-owned brick-and-mortar authorized dealer located in Naples, Florida. I have worked with them for years. I have bought from them many times, most recently, just a couple weeks ago. So if you are looking for a good Omega authorized dealer, I'm going to recommend them. I'm going to leave a link in the description of the video. So uh, check that if you're interested. Now let's start this review by taking a look at the macro level of the dial. So let's zoom in on a high level of magnification. And the first thing that I notice is just how large, how dimensional, and how tall these super maxi markers are. I like the all polish finish. And I like the fact that this green ceramic dial is slightly reflective. So it actually makes these maxi markers feel a little bit taller than they actually are because you're getting some of that reflection on the base. So it's a very easy watch to read at a glance, especially with these flared, beveled, skeletonized hands. I have zero issue reading the time with these hands. I like the color matched date. Uh, here at the bottom portion of the dial. And I like the white text. Again, everything just has a good amount of contrast, a good amount of light play, and everything is visible to a high degree of clarity because the sapphire crystal carries multiple layers of anti-reflective coatings on the top of the crystal as well as the underside of the crystal. Now let's go to this on wrist. My wrists are 7.25 inches in circumference, and I really like the presence. I like the heft here on the bracelet, it comes in nearly 200 grams in overall weight. So more hefty than a Submariner and uh, very substantive. So again, that helps with the light play, that helps with the presence, and that helps to a small degree on feeling like you're getting your money's worth with this sport watch. Now let's do the loom shot. This has a bicolor application of Superluminova. Most of the loom is done in the cyan tone, and then there is a little bit of green uh, done for the minute hand and the bezel pip. I will say that the longevity and the potency is very good, very satisfying. Omega is well known for doing good applications of loom on their dive watches. Now let me give you a sense of the bezel action. I think the grip could be a little bit better with the scalloped edges, but the mechanical feel is appropriate for the price. And I think there's just a hair amount of back play, but certainly nothing alarming or uh, outside the price point here on bracelet of $5,600, or if you opt for this on the fitted rubber strap, that comes in at $5,300. Now let me show you the clasp here and how this operates. It's a very large clasp, it's substantive, but on the underside you will see a quick adjust system. You won't need a tool and you can adjust the travel or the length of the bracelet. I find that very handy, very comfortable. Uh, but the downfall with this is this bracelet does not taper and the links are rather thick. So you have to enjoy a hefty fit if you want to wear this on a bracelet and really enjoy how it feels and, and you know just the experience going through your day with a substantive sports piece on wrist. So some people, you won't like that. You'll feel like it's too clunky, too thick, too chunky. And uh, if you have smaller wrists or smaller sport watch preferences or, or whatnot, I think you would feel better not buying this on the bracelet and definitely going with this on the fitted rubber strap 
I have reviewed the rubber strap previously. I own the rubber strap on my ceramic variation, and I can say it is one of the most comfortable, nicest OEM straps on the market. Now let's wrap up this presentation by talking about the movement. So within the case is the Caliber 8800 Master Chronometer, so it will be certified by the Swiss Federal Institute of Metrology, or METIS. This will be resistant to a ridiculous threshold of 15,000 Gauss, so very anti-magnetic, essentially impervious to magnetic flux. It has a silicon hairspring, a free-sprung balance. There will be 35 separate joules, and the watch will be 25,200 times every hour. So uh, a very decent movement, very well dialed in. I like the fact that I can view the arabesque finish found here uh, throughout the plates and bridges and rotor through a display case back on the reverse of the watch. Let me end now with one suggestion for Omega. Uh, I am a huge fan of the orange dial Planet Ocean. I have a video coming out on that very soon. And that one carries a loomed ceramic bezel insert. And I thought there's one way that Omega could really take the Seamaster Professional to the next level. It would definitely be by adding that loom, that lovely loom into the bezel because in natural light, you still have that great contrast. You still have that great legibility, but in low light, it's even more functional. It's even more fun. So that's one suggestion for Omega to consider when they update the Seamaster Professional and refine it. I'm looking forward to when they do that, but let me know if I've missed anything. Let me know if you have any specific questions. I'd be more than happy to try to answer those questions. Uh, so again, links in the description. Have a great day, and I'll see you guys next time.